The amount of death and destruction from a series of wildfires in southern Australia is astounding. Homes, more than 700 of them, no longer exist. 1,100 acres of land, including entire forests, has simply been cleared, burned to ashes. The official death toll stands at 181, but one official says it will surpass 200. All that history is gone, and that's, that's the sad thing. There's no history left. The, the town's just gutted. Uh, you know, and and all, their, all their best friends are dead. You know, and their kids are dead. And you know, I, I played golf with a 12-year-old kid on Saturday, and he's not here anymore. The fires near Melbourne started Saturday, quickly spreading because of searing temperatures and gusty winds topping 60 miles an hour. In some cases, residents had only a matter of seconds to get out before their homes went up in flames. Well, we didn't have much time at all. We had a matter of minutes. It was a case of dive in the dam and get down under the water lilies. Firefighters continue to battle more than a dozen blazes, although conditions are much cooler than over the weekend. The forecasters say that could change. While firefighters try to get an upper hand on the fires, investigators are trying to determine if some of them were intentionally set. Fire holds a great terror for us all. Its power, its speed, its roar, its relentless destruction, its capricious shifts in course, its want of mercy. The Australian government also is rethinking its policy that allows residents to decide for themselves whether to evacuate their homes. That is more than 5,000 people who are now homeless try to pick up the pieces and put their lives back together. John Belmont, The Associated Press.